in this particular study, we're interested in the relationship between television viewership and online sales, and asking the simple question of whether their substitutes or complements. The way that we studied this is we gathered a pretty large comprehensive data set on viewers in Germany, um, where we got TV viewership data at the national level, um, hourly TV viewership data, and then we also got sales data from a large online company, a company similar to eBay, so it was a large auction site. Um, we performed the study over four years, or we got data for four years. And um, in addition to the TV viewership and the online sales that we were most interested in, we also collected a lot of other data that we used as controls. So we collected weather data, because weather has been shown in the past to impact online sales. We also, um, from a large bank in Germany, um, collected average bank account um, to get a sense for um, the potential for the for the country at any given on any given day. Um, and then in addition, for eBay in Germany, we got online sales as, whether adver as well as their advertising spend to get a sense for um, the competition for this particular company. So we use those as controls to basically control for anything else that could possibly explain the online sales. And we found that TV viewership in this case is in fact a substitute for online sales of the particular online retailer. So we found that there's this negative relationship between TV viewership and online sales. And one might think that's not surprising. However, there were two competing hypotheses going into the study. On the one hand, you might think, well, you have an attention budget. So you can't watch television and use the internet at the same time. And therefore, one should be a substitute for the other. However, before we performed this study, we actually ran a large survey where we asked a large number of, of people in Germany about their online behavior, specifically whether they use the internet while they're watching TV. So a competing hypothesis would be, well, since there are more people online and at home while watching television, online sales might actually go up. So we were able to show, at least in this context, that TV viewership has a negative relationship with online sales and therefore their substitutes. Well, the first one, of course, is that TV viewership, at least on days where there are huge numbers of viewers um, watching uh, shows, should be factored into models of predicting online sales. So when companies predict online sales, they factor in weather, like I mentioned, among other things. Um, and viewership should be accounted for. And then for auction sites in particular, which was sort of the context of this study, um, sellers on auction sites may want to pay attention to the closing date and time of their auctions and not have them coincide with times when popular television shows are on. So I think there are a lot of potential implications. The first one being that if, in fact, this is an attention story where people can only pay attention to a limited number of activities at any given time, then this would have implications for TV shows that are prompting viewers to participate in the um, in TV show activity while the TV shows are going on. For example, asking uh, viewers to participate in polls, to tweet, to post on Facebook. Um, all of these activities potentially have the um, unintended consequence of impacting online sales. And the interesting thing about that is the online sellers or companies in general are the customers of TV shows. They buy advertising and ultimately don't want their sales impacted. So I think this is just an eye-opener, perhaps, for TV shows to think about the relationship between viewership and sales. There are a lot of stories in the news that are relevant to my research. Um, the TV industry and TV measurement industry is really overnight becoming revolutionized in the amount of data that we or that TV shows and networks can collect as well as TV measurement companies. Um, and so pretty much anyone involved in television, TV producers, TV networks, um, TV advertisers, are interested in the relationship between um, 
what's happening on television and what's happening online. So specifically, um, people tend to focus on engagement. Um, so how are people responding online as it relates to social media? Um, but also, there are new ways to measure audiences in terms of their demographics and what they're doing, so if they're buying. Um, but in all of this, the nice thing is that we have all of this data now that we can link in new and interesting ways that can help us better understand the impact of TV and view on viewership and sales and social media in ways that we couldn't even imagine before. So as I just mentioned, there's a lot of hype about um, sort of second screening and what people are doing while they're watching television. And I think there's this general belief that it's actually a good thing for television shows and for um, and for online sellers and for sellers in general. Um, so here, for the first time, it's kind of saying, well, maybe we should take a step back and think about what the impact of television is on online sales. So maybe second screening isn't um, positive for sellers just yet. It's really the data. So we have data on viewership at the hourly level as well as all of the sales data from this online company. Um, and so the data enables us to answer these questions in the first place. Um, and at least we think it's for the first time. We have a planned project for bringing this study to the US context, um, so extending it um, both because we're going to use U.S. viewership data, and then also because we're going to look across different online retailers. So in the first paper, we focused on a particular online retailer, an auction site. Um, and in the second study, we're going to focus more on which types of online firms are impacted the most. So in preliminary analysis, what we found was um, in the U.S. context on days like the Super Bowl and NBA finales where people are watching television in large numbers, um, while on average sales go down, sales for pizza go up. So it's possible that um, while on average high levels of television viewership impact um, sales in a negative way, that for some categories of products, sales might actually go up. So the plan is to see if there are variants across categories as it relates to television viewership and online sales.